A good Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to VolQuest.com. Some breaking news from VolQuest. Josh Heupel, Tennessee's Josh Heupel is now college football's newest $9 million man getting a contract extension and a $4 million raise of $9 million through January of 2029. And here to talk about it here at VolQuest.com is the man that broke the story, Brent Hubbs. Brent, what an accomplishment for Josh Heupel. What an investment for Tennessee. Well, what's the saying in the SEC? It just means more, right? And and when you look at that, Josh Heupel at $9 million is uh, basically tied for fifth in the league in, in salary, lumping him in with Mark Stoops uh, and, and putting him in with Lane Kiffin, uh, who are all trailing uh, Brian Kelly, Kirby Smart, Jimbo Fisher, Nick Saban, who are all making more than $9 million. So uh, it's the cost of doing business. It goes up every year. Uh, with this comes more pressure, but also, I mean, there's more money out there than ever before. When you look at TV dollars, you look at the expansion of the playoffs, all of those things. And then you look at the impact that a winning football program has at the Uni University of Tennessee. It's no surprise and should not be a shock that when Tennessee football is going well, student enrollment is up and, and applications for enrollment to the University of Tennessee for next fall are up 45% from the previous year. And, um, Football success has something to do with that, okay? And, and that's just, you know, athletic success is, is a big part of that. It's the front porch that, to, to the university. Chancellor Don De Plowman knows that, and, and that's why they worked hard to get this deal done as fast as they could get it done. Josh Hopper received a $1 million raise from his first year to his second year, now a $4 million raise, up to $9 million through January of 2029. In 18 games at Tennessee in two years, his offenses have scored over 1,100 points. Is this raise kind of what the expectation was, Brent? I mean, again, this puts him, you pointed out there, top 10 nationally, number five, right around number five in the SEC. Is this about where Josh Heupel was expected to get a bump to? Well, I don't know that Josh Heupel's completely comfortable with the fact that he's making $9 million a year. <laughs> now, he's not going to turn it down. Nobody would, right? But this was all done, you know, on the university side. I mean, there was not this heavy negotiation. Josh Heupel wasn't looking at other jobs. Tennessee wasn't concerned about him bolting on them or anything like this. This was being rewarded for your work. And this is where Tennessee felt like they needed to go. You know, when Missouri moved Eli Drinkowitz to over $6 million a year, you kind of knew then, hey, Josh Heifel's getting ready to get a fat raise, yeah. right? He's getting ready to get a big raise. But because, I mean, if, if Missouri is comfortable in paying Eli Drinkowitz that amount of money, that sets a standard of where you're supposed to be, right? And you see Shane Beamer go to $6 million, and, and you see where Sam Pittman is at. Um, and, and you look at what Josh Heupel has done, the teams that he beat this year, the fact that he had Tennessee relevant nationally, um, and, and the trajectory they have been on the last two years. Um, I think Tennessee felt like they, they had, you know, he needed to be rewarded, and, and he was worthy of being uh, into this category. Otherwise, then, then they were going to probably be concerned about somebody else trying to call. Uh, I don't think Josh Heupel has any desire to go anywhere, but this is where the market's at, and you pay somebody market value. We talk about it all the time, Eric, in the NIL world. What's somebody worth? Well, you, they're worth what you'll pay them. Mm -hmm. and, and right now the market says you pay um, a guy having this kind of success through two years, the market says you pay you know this, this amount of money. You, know, you make him middle of the pack in the SEC, essentially, or just above middle of the pack in the SEC. And um, that, that's the world we live in in college athletics. It seems absurd when you think about it, right? I mean, Philip Fulmer um, did not make a million dollars till 98. I had, it, I had it in the column. I read jo Johnny Majors made $310,000 when he was let go, when he was angry because he was the fifth highest paid coach in the SEC at $310,000. But you know what? As I said in the column, it, it's not, it doesn't feel like 98 anymore because it's not 98. And yeah. that's the world we live in. I mean, think about this. With the expansion of the playoffs, you, you may be hosting a playoff game in December. What's that worth to you financially on your campus? The, the amount of money that football is going to generate and be able to generate uh, moving forward is, is great. The amount of money it's going to cost to be a highly competitive SEC top-tier caliber football program it, it is not getting any cheaper, and it's never going to get any cheaper, Eric. It's kind of like recruiting rankings. You can be – you know, fourth or fifth in the SEC, but still top 10 nationally. And that's kind of like coaching salaries as well. And that's where it just Josh Heupel is. <laughs> yeah, it ju just means more. The last thing, Brent, with this $9 million through January 2029, the $4 million bump for Josh Heupel, what's this say about Tennessee, where Tennessee football is 
and where it's considered nationally in the big picture now of college football? Well, I, I mean, I think, again, you're rewarding someone who's made Tennessee relevant beyond the, the logo and beyond the color of orange. Um, you, you put them in a perspective. I mean, think about where they were in, in, in October when the first playoff rankings came out. Uh, at number one in the country, a Heisman Trophy candidate. They beat Alabama. I mean, they, they game days on your campus twice. Uh, there's features on you, you know, multiple weeks during the season. The Orange Bowl, one of the highest rated uh, television games from a rating standpoint in terms of, of viewership. So I, I think the relevance of Tennessee uh, has always been there if you have success. And Josh Heupel's success has brought Tennessee back into that relevance. I will say, too, I mean, Tennessee's assistants are all getting a raise. Tennessee's not putting all their money into Josh Heupel and everybody else is not getting something. The, those raises have not been finalized. Um, they will be finalized in the coming weeks. I don't think this is going to be something we're going to be hearing about in July or August. I think they're all close to being finalized and done right now. And uh, th this was led by the university side about getting it done as fast as they can and getting this done moving forward, leaving no doubt and, and – not dragging it out months upon months like they did a year ago. But to answer your question, it says that Tennessee um, wants to be here to stay and, and that Tennessee is putting all of their their eggs in the basket to be as relevant as they can in, in the scope of college football because of the investment they're making into their program. Well, that investment means Josh Hobble got paid $9 million, the deal running through January of 2029. Hobble made $5 million in 2022 4 million in 2021 all right plenty of breaking news uh, plenty of reaction to this breaking news over volquest.com we got the story there we got a column from brent we'll have tons of reaction on the board your number one place to find breaking news for all tennessee athletics and tennessee football and recruiting that is at volquest.com